For years scientists have believed that when it comes to weight gain, all calories are created equal. But an intriguing new study, published in the journal Nature Communications, suggests that's not true. The body appears to react differently to calories ingested from high-fiber whole foods versus ultra-processed junk foods. The reason? Cheap processed foods are more quickly absorbed in your upper gastrointestinal tract, which means more calories for your body and fewer for your gut microbiome, which is located near the end of your digestive tract. But when we eat high-fiber foods, they aren't absorbed as easily, so they make the full journey down your digestive tract to your large intestine, where the trillions of bacteria that make up your gut microbiome are waiting. By eating a fiber-rich diet, you are not just feeding yourself, but also your intestinal microbes, which, the new research shows, effectively reduces your calorie intake. The study reveals that inside all of us, our gut microbes are in a tug of war with our bodies for calories, said Karen D. Corbin, an investigator at the Advent Health Translational Research Institute of Metabolism and Diabetes in Orlando and the lead author of the study. On a Western diet that doesn't feed the microbes very much, almost all the energy goes to us and very little goes to the microbes, Corbin said. We don't give the microbes any opportunity to utilize the calories we ate because we use them all. We pull the rope all the way to one end. Corbin and her colleagues wanted to understand how the gut microbiome might be involved in regulating weight and metabolic health, so they designed a clinical trial that was small but rigorous. They recruited 17 healthy men and women and compared what happened when they were fed a fiber-rich diet versus a diet of highly processed foods. The researchers provided the participants all of their meals and had them follow each diet for 22 days. For half of their time on each diet, the participants lived in a metabolic ward, where researchers tracked every calorie they ate and controlled their physical activity levels. They also spent six days during each diet phase in a tiny, airtight room called a metabolic chamber. This allowed the scientists to determine exactly how many calories the participants burned. The researchers collected bowel movements and used special techniques to analyze things like the amount of energy and bacteria in their feces. The two diets were polar opposites. One, called the Western diet contained many highly processed foods typical of what the average American eats. Foods like crispy puffed rice cereal, white bread, American cheese, ground beef, cheese puffs, vanilla wafers, cold cuts and other processed meats, and sugary snacks and fruit juices. The other diet was called the microbiome enhancer diet, and it was designed so as much nourishing food as possible would reach the gut microbiota.